Hey, what's going on, people? This is your boy, Say One History, on The Awakened Show. And I just want to ask you one very simple question. And that question is, are you forgetful? Well, if you are, neuroscientists said that your forgetfulness is a sign of extraordinary intelligence. <laughs> Let me explain. There are people who pride themselves on their excellent memory, which can certainly be useful in school or social situations. However, it is nearly impossible to remember every tiny detail of every situation, and it is nearly as impossible to remember every fact that you learn in school, especially over a long period of time. When you forget something, it often makes you feel, well, stupid. You don't feel particularly intelligent standing in the middle of a grocery store trying to remember everything you need to get nor do you feel exceptionally bright when you go from one room to another and you forget why you made the trip. You might wonder why these minor brain lapses occur, but you don't really need to worry. Researchers Paul Franklin and Blake Richards from the University of Toronto found that old memories in the brain are literally overwritten by new memories. It is basically harder for us to remember the old impressions or forget them altogether. According to the study, a perfect memory isn't connected to high intelligence in any way. In fact, the study found that the opposite tends to be true. While you might assume that someone with a great memory is generally considered intelligent, it is actually more useful and even healthier to remember larger scales of everything and forget small details. It is important that the brain forgets irrelevant details and instead focus on the things that will help you make decisions in the real world, Richard explained in an interview with CNN. The brain has a small mechanism called the hippocampus, and this component of the mind stores memories. It works to get rid of unimportant details so you can focus more on what really matters. This allows you to make intelligent decisions in a much more efficient way. While this process occurs, the brain is actually overriding old memories with new ones, more important ones. A brain that is crowded with too many memories is more likely to have conflict in its ability to make decisions. For instance, a brain with too many memories might have indecisiveness because it accounts for too many variables. This makes sense from a biological standpoint since early humans would have had to remember vital details in order to survive so that the brain would grow to help that happen. However, with the advancements in technology in the recent years, humans are negating the need for detailed memory. For people in the modern world, it is much more useful to understand how Google works than it is to remember how to do unusual tasks. This just means it is even more acceptable to occasionally forget small details since you can now easily look up just about any fact you need to at any time. If you find yourself forgetting major chunks of time or large segments of important information, there might be a serious issue, but otherwise it is perfectly normal to miss small details. You don't have to feel stupid when you forget since it just means that your brain is working the way it should be. Now, moving right along, people, I want to actually go ahead and show you some footage of activity on the moon here. Now, I know I've shown you my footage of activity on the moon. I've shown you others of activity on the moon. We've even discussed domes on the moon and how they could be potentially being made with material that's right here on Earth here. So... I want to actually go ahead and show you this. It's probably been seen before, but I don't think it's getting enough light. Uh, this is truly phenomenal. Um, you can see that the photographer is actually trying to zoom in correctly, get a clear shot. But just as soon as he uh, zooms in, you can start to see almost like a dispersal or a fleet, if you will, of UFOs leaving the dark side of the moon which I thought was extremely compelling and I wanted to actually get a close-up shot so I zoomed in a little bit more so you guys can see this but again extremely compelling uh, 